Hey everyone, welcome to another Crypto Setups tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through a DeFi protocol called Optimus Finance. Now, this uh, yield aggregator protocol operates on the Icon blockchain and it basically aggregates yield and also automates certain processes for you if you want to use the protocol. So let me talk through what I'm going to take you through. I'm going to just quickly give an overview of all the different strategies the um, Optimus Finance has at the moment, and I'll show you some of the new ones that I haven't covered in a past tutorial. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here we have Optimus Finance, and as soon as you land on it, you can see that on the left-hand side, you have a few tabs you can pick, and um, you can sign in with your wallet. So let's kick this off. Sign in with your wallet. And I'll just bring it here and pick the wallet you want to authorize. Excellent. Well, that's okay. If that happens, just give it another shot. And here we are. Now you can see it, at first glance, the total supply is everything that's going on in all these strategies. These are the various strategies at play. And this is how much ICX or OM or money is in each of the strategies. And kind of over here, you can tell what the APR is per strategy. So there's quite a lot to do here. And um, I'm going to quickly give you an overview of the strategies now. And then I'm going to show you these um, three strategies that I haven't covered before. So first things first, balanced. If you're not aware of balance, I've done a separate tutorial around this, which you can watch. But um, what Optimus does is provides two strategies that it covers for balance. One is the liquidity provider option. Now, on balance, you can supply ICX, not staked ICX, just ICX. And what happens is um, after a while that ICX turns into staked ICX and you've got to go to balance, unstake it and then uh, restake it so that you can take part of that pool. Uh, Optimus Finance, this strategy automates that process. So if you um, opt in with ICX through the strategy, the second it turns into SICX, it'll automate, unstake and add it back to the pool. So it takes care of that. And you can see at the moment, this particular strategy is giving you around 3.91 with the FIN token. So if you drop it, you can see the APY is quite low, but uh, the APR is high with the FIN token of 3.91%. And this is the kind of yields we expect in DeFi today. Um, next up, the borrower strategy. Now, this is an automation slash yield um, automation. Oh, I said automation and yield pro strategy combined. Basically, you on balance, you can lock your ICX up and mint BNUSD. And for doing that, you actually earn are rewarded with the balance token. So... Uh, rather than doing it on balance, you can come here and it will borrow the absolute maximum and then watch your loan. So basic price moves and things like that, it will automatically adjust to make sure you're getting the most and earning the most yield in the form of balance tokens. But at the same time, you're protected. Your um, uh, collateral that you put up is protected because it's managing it for you. So, and I have covered these two strategies before, but I just thought let's give a quick overview. Now, some of the newer strategies that have come through is Ohm Lender with Staker. This is a cool one. And then there's an Ohm strategy. And then just now they've added a um, stablecoin strategy. So let us let me take you through what the Ohm Lender strategy is. So again, uh, this the Lender strategy is basically using Ohm where you go to Ohm and say, uh, supply some ICX or SICX and um, then you can do stuff on the Ohm platform. What, what this particular um, strategy does is it automatically uh, lets the supply component. So you, you supply it, it supplies it on the platform for you. And then the Ohm tokens it earns, it takes it and automatically stakes it for you daily. And um, there are a few uh, cool perks here as well. So remember one of the things as well when using this, you're going to earn more yield via Optimus because it is giving you, when you use these strategies, the FIN token, which I called out earlier. So let's let's go through this. I'm, I'm going to supply uh, 25 ICX here. It's not much, but hit submit there is uh, let's just submit this 
So one thing to note is it is locked for 24 hours when you supply. So as soon as you supply, you cannot withdraw it for 24 hours. Make sure um, you're across that. As soon as you supply, as usual, the last will authorize. Excellent, so that's done. Now, as I said, so what it's doing here is it's automatically just supplying it to Ohm as a supply. Um, it's not borrowing against it or anything like that, but for supplying ICX on Ohm, you do earn Ohm tokens as a reward. And on top of that, you earn um, the Fin token here, which after 24 hours, you can come here and you will see that um, you'll have rewards to claim on this screen. Now, what what's cool about this particular strategy is when you earn the own rewards instead of just keeping the own rewards it will actually stake it for you and turn it into what it's called fin ohm which is basically like sicx when it's staked it, it uh, all the, the the overall value of Ohm is going up in terms of redemption for the ohm token so you may on the first day let's say stake one ohm for one fin ohm um uh, two weeks later that when you unstake that one fin ohm it will give you probably 1.1 i mean i'm just giving context here this is not how what the current rates are so that's what this strategy does. So it allows you to um, supply your ICX, earn interest on it. At the same time, it then takes your own token and it automatically stakes it, um, uh, the earnings, it stakes it as Finome. And part of that, it becomes, um, you, you earn extra rewards. And I'll take you through the next strategy with that one. So this strategy is done and you don't need to do anything else. Let, let's head here. There's nothing else to stake. Um, let's come back here nothing to stake no nope. great okay so that's that strategy now the ohm staker strategy now this is again um a strategy where traditionally you would go to the ohm site and just stake your ohm on there and what you can do instead of doing that is come here and supply your ohm for to earn this apy but after you've done that, you can also then turn it into FinOM and earn more on that, which is um, the staking of 9%. So you can kind of double up over here, and this is pretty cool. So well, let's take a look. Uh, let's let's run through it. With Ohm, I've got a tiny bit of um, Ohm here. I'm going to supply. I'll keep bringing this across. great so you can see right away i've supplied it it's done now that's that but remember i said there's an extra step so let, let's head on over to staking and now if i click on there you can see straight away what this does now is if you you can just leave the ohm strategy and you're done but why when you can double up double tap so jump into the staking screen fin ohm and you can see i put 250 but you notice how it's now not giving me 250 it's saying i have 237 which is what i explained before fins all fin ohms always redeemable for more ohm so naturally it will give you a lower fin ohm figure when you go to stake it but when you redeem it you'll get the exact amount if not more based on the daily rewards now why do you do this well the way they've worked this into the fin ohm and they've de developed this strategy is if you stake it you will then earn ICX re node reward. So um, Icon DAO has set up a process where, where they have a certain amount of votes and a certain percentage of their node rewards. As long as you have this fin ohm state, you get rewarded on top. So it's, it's a great way um, for you to earn uh, extra ICX and particularly the strategy I talked about earlier where you automatically get fin ohm and it gets staked you then start earning um, node reward so uh, it's well thought out and, and quite well done so in this case I'm going to submit it remember it's just like staking you can't unstake for three days great there you go and if we go out you can see that my daily reward will be, I barely staked any, but but you, you get the idea. Now, coming back to strategy, 
you can see how much I've deposited in each strategy. And this is the screen that tells you and rewards. Cool. So when you're 24 hours up and you start earning rewards, you'll be able to come into the rewards screen and you'll be able to claim um, st the, uh, the ICX you've earned from the Finome staking. Okay, let's head back to strategy. So it, we've covered that. Now the next new strategy that has just been deployed is the stablecoin strategy. Now we know at the moment, if you go and deposit USDC on Ohm, you're earning probably, uh, I think it's dropped. It's quite low now in terms of percentage, but there's, there's a play on Ohm because the, your, uh, when you supply your funds, you could borrow against them and then you get paid to borrow on Ohm. Originally, this is what the strategy was going to do, but given the market conditions, they've just decided to uh, do the supply side of it. So there's no risk apart from smart contract risk um, as per anything you use. So with IUSDC, what's happening with the strategy is you supply, you're earning interest for supplying as you would on Ohm. At the same time, you're earning Ohm tokens as a reward. The strategy will sell those Ohm tokens daily and into IUSDC and just add it to your IUSDC stash. And so you'll see your uh, deposited amount grow. And on top of that, you will be earning the FIN token, which you will then go to the uh, reward screen and claim daily based on how much you have in there. So that's what this strategy does. Yeah, so I actually don't have any IUSDC. I transferred a little bit of USDS. So to take part in this, it's literally 100%. Uh, see, it's locked for 24 hours. Always remember that. Uh, and that's to do with the rewards. Although Ohm has got continuous rewards, so I'm not sure. Uh, but that's how it's been designed. Excellent. So again, this is done. So every 24 hours, if you come into your, you will automatically see your interest rate go up, but you also get the fin token, which you will have to claim where you come here and then you claim your fin token as part of the rewards. Okay. Now, the only thing I haven't covered is we touched on the staking uh, section and uh, just a quick overview. So obviously if you have the fin token, you can stake it and um, earn at the moment 20% APR. That's pretty awesome. Now you can also supply liquidity on balanced, which I have not covered in this tutorial. Uh, so if you cover, if you supply it, you supply liquidity there, then you come here and you stake the LP. Um, I, I believe I have covered this in the last tutorial. So you need to stake your LP um, to earn your fin rewards. So as long as you've done that, then again, daily, you'll come here and you'll have rewards to claim. Okay. So the, the last part is the vote. So again, protocol makes changes. They're going to put governance votes up and, and you need the fin token stake to be able to vote. But that is basically it. So these are the current strategies we have, and I'm sure they'll keep expanding, but, um, overall some great strategies in terms of the ohm uh, strategies that are fairly risk-free and allow you to kind of double up your yield if you're trying to acquire more tokens of ohm and fin so keep that in mind if there's anything you have questions put put some in the comments anything i haven't covered let me know i will um, address it in the comments but as always thank you for watching share like subscribe until next time